Hello friends, welcome to my channel Tried Studio. In this video, I am going to show you how you can change thermal paste of your Asus Top FX505 DT laptop. This is the back panel of my laptop. I have already opened the screws, so I am going to show you how to open the back cover. And I tried to make some modification for thermal improvement, but that didn't work out. After opening the screws, you need a pry tool. Insert the pry tool between the joint of the two casing and slide forward. It might be little tight, but do it gently and you will hear some click sounds. As you continue to slide forward, your back cover will start to open slowly. This might take some time, but you have to be very careful and gentle. So it's opened. This is our heat sink. Here you can see the CPU has a single heat sink and it is shared with the graphics card. And that is why the CPU reaches up to 95 degrees centigrade during full load. And before starting to open the screws, disconnect the battery from the motherboard for safety of the circuits. We need a flip set screw like this and there are total 8 screws. Okay. Let's see. So that's it. Here you can see the residue of the thermal paste. So I am going to clean this with isopropyl alcohol and a clean towel. Here is a heat spreader. And I have to clean thermal paste from this ices also. And here you can see because of extreme heat, there are burn marks on the side of the CPU. I'm going to use this to clean the previously applied thermal paste. So at first I'm cleaning with the dry towel. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to clean the processor, graphics card with isopropyl alcohol. They have applied thermal glues on top of the appearance and it is really tough to clean them. And it is not mandatory that you have to use thermal glue here. I am going to use thermal paste instead of thermal glue. I am going to clean them again. This is the final cleaning. My CPU temperature reaches 95 degree and then the CPU start to thermal throttle and that is why I am going to change the thermal paste. Here you can see the burn marks because of the overheating of the CPU. I have to clean all these portions with isopropyl alcohol. So that's it. Now I'm going to apply thermal paste. I'm going to use Crosshair thermal paste TM30. Now point of our is there. I think this one too. Okay. Delete this one. Now I'm going to place the heat sink. So that's it. 
Now I can fix the screws. So that's it. Now let's turn on the laptop. Before turning it on, we have to connect the power cable here. So friends, after reapplying thermal paste, I am playing disc gone for about 15 minutes and take a look at CPU temperature. It is at mid 80s. So almost 10 degree improvement in temperature rise has been noticed here and my current room temperature is 33 degrees centigrade. But still the CPU is thermal throttling. It does not reach at 3700 MHz, which is the maximum frequency of this CPU. So that's still a problem. So this is it. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.